The reason why guys stop paying for dates because we all, even myself, they took girls out on multiple dates, first food, foodie dates, concerts, shit like that, and you ain't get the time of the day. Not saying you gotta fucking take her. I'm sorry, you ain't get the time of the day in no way. But soon as you start paying for stuff, she didn't ghost your ass. So now the times we're now like most guys, these young guys, you know, they ain't really hip to it. Social media putting it up on it. So. If it's something real cheap, you know, it's like, you know, some little mine I pay for, you know. But when it starts getting like you spending sixty, seventy dollars, I ain't saying that's a lot of money, but it could be a lot of money, shit. I don't know. It all depends how you know, what bills or whatever going on. So look, I said, Okay, we're gonna go out here, but this how we how, if this this is where I'm at now, this, this is what I'm living by. If I pay for the food, you pay for the drinks. And it don't gotta be for the same amount. If I spend sixty on drinks, I don't, well, if I spend 60 on food, I don't expect you to pay 60 on drinks. I ain't, we ain't trying to go tit for tat. Or even something simpler. But if I pay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Bring, bring your own money. To the if, day. if, <laughs> if I pay for the food and drinks, can you at least leave a tip? Now, don't call me cheap because I don't want to leave a tip. I'm like, you got to invest something into this. Or when you get the most smart ass bitches, this is what I do now. I'm like, okay, you got a credit card? She's like, yeah. You got two credit cards? She's like, yeah. All right, bring two of your credit cards. And I'm going to bring two of my credit cards. I don't know the waitress or the waiter. We're going to put two of my cards in the bag. We're going to put two of your cards in the bag. And whoever, we're going to shake, let them shake them up. And whoever card they pull out, going to pay for everything. What you think about that? I think people should be generous enough to leave tips. If you take me out, then okay, at least I can do this. No, so what up? You, you cool with the cards? Let the cards pick? I mean, I carry cash. Okay, well, you... Card is fine, I guess. Oh, I mean, it don't matter. Well, I mean, okay, cash had to be a little different. I mean, but I'm just saying, you know, it's like the roulette with the cash. You know what I'm saying? I mean, especially if it's a tip, it's good to have a little cash on I it. I mean, do you tip? A nigga just took y'all spent eight dollars on food. You can't leave a fucking fifteen dollar tip or something, eighteen dollar tip. No, not that much. A tip. Well, fifteen percent. Well, that's a little more than fifteen percent. But I'm just saying, you know, mm -hmm. you know, eight dollar tip. I mean, shit. You know. $10. Something like that, exactly. So that's why now when I go to restaurants, I just find a restaurant I want to go to, and now it's out of ten. I pick some pretty good restaurants, and it'd be a group of girls already there eating by themselves, paying for their own food. I'm like, well, damn, she already didn't pay for her own food. So me coming up buying her another drink, I don't feel as bad. Now, I think the is most she going? Most expensive date I probably paid for was like one fifty. But that's somebody using a relationship. I mean, I left the tip too. I paid for the dinner. Hey, and that's the sweetest day. So, and that that's that's perfect timing. But you damn sure ain't about the motherfucking first date. I was somebody do like, oh, oh, you take me out, cool. Oh, where we going? Uh, Benny Hanna's. <laughs> like, damn. If you if you especially have a preference, take some money with you. I would take some money with me. Right, you can always can upgrade shit. 